tasted the scotch bonnet. Maybe I tasted it wrong. It's spicy, but it's not that spicy. 12 seconds later. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Oh my god. Never mind. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to a special, very, very special episode of Oagiri's Kitchen. Uh, today, you might realize I don't have a special friend with me, and that's because chat is going to be my co-stars for today. They're going to teach me how to make their own signature dish using chat TTS. Let's do a tiny ingredient prepping. Get a bowl and whisk the eggs and start okay, crushing fine. the garlic, please. Okay, I can do that. I have two eggs. Again, if you need me to add more eggs, let me know. But right now, this is the amount of two eggs. How much garlic? Someone? How much garlic do you want me to put in? Well, while you guys decide, I can still hear in my ear. So let me know how much garlic. I'm going to get my food processor. Let's use five cloves of garlic. I'm going to chop the garlic. And I'm going to prep the cilantro. Okay, and then I have cilantro. I'm going to rinse these under the water a little. What was the ingredients? Cilantro paste in a blender. Place 78 millimeters extra virgin olive oil. Three tablespoons of... Li I don't have lime. There's no lime. A bunch of cilantro. Blend the desired consistency. We'll put the cilantro in. Guys, we can only work with the ingredients that we have, okay? Actually, do I have lime? I might have lime. So I'm assuming I need a whole bunch. So just all of it, I guess. This is so much cilantro. I'm so sad. It smells so bad. I, it smells. It smells so bad. I can when smell you get a chance, this shit. Chop the ghost peppers, so we can slowly saute the peppers with the garlic. Oh, then we need more garlic. I'm gonna just give these a quick rough chop while I go get my lime. I'm just uh, rubbing my lime a little bit to release the juices. Wow, Gary really does a lot of cilantro. You know what I love more than cilantro? Your your mom. Yeah. I'm gonna put in cilantro. Oh my god, this is so much cilantro. I'm gonna grab some garlic because I'm gonna I'm gonna save the rest for the ghost pepper saute. Um, I'm gonna cut this to get the lime juice out. Okay, use oil. Yes, I did not forget the oil. And 78 milliliters of oil, whatever that means. So I'm gonna do 78 milliliters. Ew! Ew! It's bouncing! Ew! It bounced into my Add mouth. Add an MSG to it. MSG? Okay. This is the worst thing I've ever made. It smells like a foot. How many scotch bonnets do you want me to cut? And how do you want me to cut it? I've been told to chop garlic and scotch bonnets. And I tasted the scotch bonnet. Maybe I tasted it wrong. It's spicy, but it's not that spicy. 12 seconds later. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Oh my god. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Four peppers should be enough. We need the saute mix for the oxtail and bacon later. Okay. Four. Oh. Maybe just one or two peppers, roughly chopped. One or two? Then how about we meet in the middle and we'll do three? Guys, my, my, my tummy doesn't feel so good. I'm dying. Guys, some bacon. Fry it up to extract bacon fat to fry other proteins in later nodders. Okay. I'm gonna do the bacon now. How many slices do you reckon, guys? I see a lot of fours. Five, five, six, eight, 45. Okay, I'm gonna do five. Afterward, we might also want to prep the durian. To cut it properly, find the star pattern on the durian. Use the edge of your cleaver to make a shallow cut along the seam. Do not cut, just pry it open with a twisting motion. Once it has enough room, use your hand and spread it apart. The fruit should now be visible. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go in here. Cause there there seems to be like a rivet or like a dent here. So I'm gonna go in here. <laughs> I'm so scared. Okay, we're in, boys, we're in. Okay, I'm gonna take the seed out. I'm assuming you don't eat the seed. What do you guys want me to do now? We still have the ox kale that's not been processed yet. We still have the beef balls that's not been processed yet. Okay, we're gonna render the bacon out. Okay, I'm gonna have my oil. Okay, we're just gonna saute this. Pour in a liter of water into the bacon right now. Pour in a liter of water. Okay, water going in. It's the next step, boys. Let's get the oxtail going ready for an oxtail and durian broth. Let's get the oxtail going. All right, then I'm gonna pull out my bacon. Do you guys want the bacon crispy or just cooked? <laughs> crispy, uh, crispy or cooked? Crispy, okay. And we're gonna keep going. And then I'm gonna pull it out. And then I guess we can use the bacon fat to, uh, Sear off the oxtail. That sounds like a plan to me. 
Okay, while I'm doing the oxtail, guys, think about what you guys want me to do next. We're gonna be searing off our oxtail and bacon fat, so that's gonna be pretty amazing as well. I'm actually quite excited about that. I'm gonna turn the heat back on to high. We're only searing the oxtail, yes? Okay, I'm just gonna let this sear, and then we're turning around the other way. I'm gonna drain the oil. I can probably save the oil if you guys need me to for whatever else. But I'm gonna drain the oil just to wipe down the pot a little bit. And then guys, think about the next step. And then when I come back, let me know, okay? I think the oxtail need a nice cilantro garnish smile. Well, the oxtail isn't done right now, Joe, okay? Later, if you want, just rub it on the ox... You want me to actually rub it on the oxtail? Do it. Okay, I'm rubbing in all my oxtail now. We can make like a durian oxtail, kind of like a soup base. And then, and then you can like garnish it with like smoked salmon. I don't know, you can flavor the broth with like herring maybe and, and stuff like that. And then top it off on the white ramen. That would actually sound pretty good. What's the next step? I have, I covered my oxtail with cilantro now. Saute the almonds. Should I saute the almonds with like the peppers and the garlic? I can probably try that. What I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the bacon fat just to grease the pan a little bit. I'm gonna saute my peppers and my garlic. I think we're gonna use the herring, the gochujang, all these things as like a little bit of a soup seasoning. I'm gonna grab a little bit of almonds. We're gonna chop that down. How about scrambled eggs with the meat and the ghost peppers? Okay, I can probably do that. I'm gonna rough, roughly chop the almonds a little bit and I'm gonna saute it with the uh, veggies. Oh, and then I'm gonna saute the uh, durian. Can we braise the oxtails? Can we braise the oxtail? Yes, we will be braising the oxtail most likely. I have my almonds ready, so I'm gonna turn the heat back on. And then I'm gonna actually saute the durian in the bacon fat. So just to render out some of the creaminess, we're gonna put in the oxtail back in, put a little bit of water to make a bit of like a braising liquid, and then we're gonna season that liquid. I'm gonna put in my... If we make a roux for the soup, we can add the almonds, garlic, and pepper to this. Isn't that a little bit? Add water to this and the durian and oxtail and let it stew. It should come out decently creamy. I think I'm gonna add in the eggs as like a, like you know, egg drop soup, where it's like a silky, loose egg that goes around the inside of the soup. Okay, guys, I don't know what I'm doing, but wish me luck. I'm gonna grab some durian here. Mmm. Don't forget to add some of the cilantro paste onto this. Oh, you're At so least right, Bestie. Two spoonfuls. You're you're so right. Let me add in this. Let me add in the cilantro. You're so right. Okay, I'm just gonna whisk that down a little bit, and I'm gonna add in the water slowly. I'm gonna season the stock and see if there's anything I can add to it to make it taste a bit better. Open the pack of Vite Ramen and put it to cook in this. The Vite Ramen. Wait, right Don't now, forget I think to we put should... in some of the herring liquid. Oh, you're right. Oh my god, the herring liquid literally smells like dusty poon, okay guys? I guess a few herring pieces is what you guys wanted. Holy shit, it's so slimy. Should I add in the, the shrimp paste as well? Just add everything? Oh my god. I mean, the shrimp paste just smells like shrimp paste. It's strong, but it smells just like, just smells like shrimp paste. Every little thing I'm putting inside, it's like, it's starting to like bubble and jump around. It's like the soup doesn't even want to exist. Okay, gochujang going in. I'm just gonna do like a spoonful. Oh, look at the color! Oh my god, look Ew! at the color! What the fuck? Okay, I'm gonna put in the oxtail now. Oh god. Next instruction, once seasoned, move it to a blender to help with the consistency. Oh my, dude, no amount of blending is going to help this consistency. Now let's see what we do with those eggs. What about we mix in some of the cilantro paste? Cut the herring and salmon into pieces, whisk it and make it into scrambled eggs later, smile. Scrambled eggs? Uh, sure. Jiri, at, I at think we point, can stop sure. now. Or add some more shrimp paste, then grind it in a blender. Okay. And then we can probably boil the noodles in, in here directly. I'm gonna make the scrambled eggs now. Half the amount of the cilantro. Okay, and then, what was it? Oh, the herring. Okay, I'm just gonna add in one because it's so fucking humongous. I don't have my knife here anymore, so I'm just gonna use my spoon to chop it up. I'm gonna add a little bit of oil, turn on the heat. It's a beautiful green color though. It looks like pesto. I'll just do a soft scramble, I think. What should I do with the smoked salmon, chat? 
Chat's gonna like green egg, green eggs and Throw ham today. Throw the salmon, beef balls, and bacon into the blender. What? I mean, I could. So no do you guys want me to? the blender. And while you are at it, add some extra cilantro paste to the mix. There's no more. This is all I have left. Oh my god, it's actually pulverizing. Look at the fucking color on this thing. Every why is everything brown? I'm gonna make it into a patty. And then I'm gonna pan fry it. While you still have the blender, might be smart yeah. to now blend the soup. Oh, the soup. Okay, okay, you're right, you're right. How can it be worse than this? How can it be worse? It just gets worse. It doesn't get better. I'm gonna add a little bit of water so it's a little looser, and we're gonna cook the white ramen inside, and we're gonna start Hearing serving we only it up. Brothers are professional chefs. Trust the process. Uh huh. I think the oil is ready as well. So we're gonna try to pick it up. Cat, what would you like for lunch? He'll grab some takeout. Wait, what about me? Can I get some takeout? No, 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 no. Why can't I get takeout? Don't you guys want some? I literally did this for you guys. BTW, I dug don't my own forget brave. the Vitaraman ramen pounder. Yes. Okay, and then I'm gonna turn it back on. I'm gonna put in the put the meat back in as well to reheat it because it has cooled down a little bit. Oh, you know what I can do? I can plate it back in here. You know those like um those things that's trending on uh, Instagram, the Bria ramen, where they put it back in the actual thing. I'm gonna add in the chicken powder too. I might as well. I don't even know if the noodles are gonna cook down. I'm gonna be real. The noodles isn't even breaking down. The noodles is stuck. It's stuck together. It's not even cooking. Okay, maybe if I like covered it with the beef, it'll warm up evenly. The noodles are loosening. It's coating the noodles. Look. A few moments later. I'm gonna do half a patty, just because I don't think a full one's gonna fit. And then I'm gonna get a little bit of the cilantro fried egg. Okay, and the pièce de résistance, a little bit of untainted bacon bits. So I'm gonna put the bacon bits in there. I'm gonna have Oni Bro have the first bite. I will wait here and l let him give us his uh, comments. It's interesting. Okay, he's gonna give a rating though. It's a three out of ten. <laughs> you know what? Three out of ten. I'll take it. And here we have the completed dish. As you saw earlier in the intro, uh, we made a cilantro herring scrambled egg, uh, smoked salmon beef ball, a uh, bacon bit patty, and obviously the star of the show, which is a durian-based oxtail soup seasoned with scotch bonnets, herring, gochujang, almonds, uh, with a little bit of body, you know, um, all in all, tastes like shit. But if you ever feel so inclined to um, try the recipe, please let me know in the comments down below how it turned out for you. And let me know if you're still alive the next day, okay? All right, take care, YouTube. I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Can I suck your seed? Dude, there's so many seeds. Feel free, Kana. You can suck as hard as you want, as many as you want, as little as you want. Ooh, that's really yummy. Okay.